Hey, how's it going? I got the Mavic here. I'm going to teach you how to uh, hand launch it and land it in your hand uh, because some places like this, you know, you don't have flat land. But I found the easiest way um, to take off from the app and not use your fingers on both joysticks, how a lot of people say. So, the easiest way that I've found is come down here. Okay, you got it in your hand. Uh, you come to the app. So, I'm on the app. You go take off. Slide to take off, hold it, and then take off, okay? Careful, obviously, standing up and don't do it when there's people around. Um, land, uh, it's quite windy here today, so it's kind of moving around a bit. The sensors are um, on, enabled. It's going to want to go up if I put my hand underneath it, okay? So that means that if I uh, put my hand underneath it to hold it, and then try to bring it down to land, it's going to want to go up. So it's going to go like full power, and it's, it will, if you keep holding it uh, the throttle down uh, and hold it, it will eventually turn off and cut the engine. So you can do it like that. Hand under it, hold it. Throttle, pull it down. So it, it, does, it, do, it does do it like that. Uh, there's another way, you can do it with the app. So I'll just take off again from the app, take off, slide to take off. Let it go, boom, pretty easy. Go to the landing mode again, and you go okay, and then you want to put your hand on it. You don't really want to pull it down, just kind of let it come into your hand. And once it's in your hand, then you slowly just release the throttle and bring it all the way down, and it'll turn the motors off without winding the motors back up, okay? So landing aircraft now, okay. Come underneath it, just hold onto it, and fully down and off. Hey, down here again, feature point of interest. Um, so I'll just take it off uh, and then you use the app to uh, do it. So I'll take it off using uh, the take off button on the app. So here we go, take off, and it takes off. There you go. Okay, so that it's in the air. I've got GPS as you can see, um, so what we want to do is you come down here onto your left on the app and you go to uh, the, the features here, point of interest, it does a circle okay, around you, it's pretty much the simplest terms. So what do you pretty much what to do here, so fly the aircraft above the point of interest and set that point of interest. So we're going to use this rock here, Okay, we're going to come over to it, the easiest way I find is putting the uh, camera to bird's eye and then you get the point of interest. So there we are, pretty much uh, where we want it. The minimum altitude is five meters. So you go to a five meters, you apply, okay? Then you want to set the radius. So you can see up there, there that's, how, that's about five, six meters, I think it is, 6.7 meters. So I'm just going to do a radius, I'm just going to come out. So behind me is like the lowest bit of uh, land. We're on kind of a hill, so that's the best place to do it. Um, going back to the uh, lowest point, okay? So I've got that, I want to use that. Um, now I'm just going to bring the, the camera back up to us. This position, that, you know, with us in the focus, uh, in the middle. Easy, that's pretty good. Don't forget to uh, autofocus. And then you just press start, pretty much. It's pretty easy, start. And then it's got more uh, details here. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go into that. You can read it if you want, but I'm just going to go OK and it's going to start. So it's starting, OK? Uh, you can change the direction here on the app. Uh, you can change the speed also. So at the moment it's doing one meter per second. It's pretty slow. If you look at it up there, you can see it. OK, uh, you can change the tilt angle on the uh, remote. So here you go, tilt angle. Uh, so you change that, you can change it while it's doing it, so you, so you can go a bit faster, you just slide it here, it's 3.2 metres per second now, going a bit faster, okay. It's pretty simple, it's just going to keep doing that until you tell it to stop, okay. Uh, again, you can go the other way, so I'll just bring it this way, and let's change direction, 1.5 the other way, and now it's doing that. But say you um, decrease the height, so you just pull that down, it's going to decrease the height, okay, and it's still going to keep doing the point of interest. 
Okay. Uh, if you want to fly away, you can fly away a little bit. And it's still going to do the point of interest. And then it's just going to, that's a new radius. You just got to be careful when you do that, that you don't go too far back where it's too low. Uh, if there's any land that's too low. I'm on a hill, so um, I think it's pretty sweet. So it's going to be good. But you wouldn't want, obviously, to go too far back if you don't know what uh, your train's like. So you just got to be aware of that. Pretty good feature, makes it real nice and stable. It's pretty windy today, so can be pretty good. To stop it, you just go uh, exit this mode, or you can pause it if you want, or exit the mode, exit, confirm, and when you do that, it will just stop automatically, and you're back into uh, just the, the mode that it was on. Because we're on a bit of a hill, oh, we're on rocks and all that, um, there's no really to land it, so I'm gonna use the uh, landing. Uh, like I showed you in the other episode. So, yeah, again, um, you just come to here, or oh, the low battery's on, come to here, press the uh, land aircraft now, land aircraft, come here, put your hand on it, you don't want to pull it or like tug it or anything, and then put the throttle down so you always have your finger on the throttle, and then bring it down and it'll come down, land in your hand. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, so. That's the uh, point of interest, uh, we'll check out the other um, features, uh, we'll try to do the terrain one on this, uh, the next episode, have it to follow her, and it's going to use its sensors to uh, see the terrain as she's going up a hill, and it's going to keep that same height, so it's not going to go into the, the hill, it's a good feature, um, so we'll do that on the next episode.